When you look back at your time with your kids, are you going to think to yourself, I spent too much time with them. Someone told me when I had my first baby, enjoy this time. It goes by super fast. The days are long, but the years are short. It's true. This is my children's one and only childhood. And I have the freedom to make it the best that I can for them. And that was me staying home and us learning alongside of each other. I didn't want to miss out on anything. I wanted options when it came to how they learned. I wanted multiple varied options. I wanted their childhoods to be filled with adventures, quality family time, and memory-making experiences. I don't believe I will look back on my time as a homeschooling mom and think to myself, it wasn't worth it. I should have just put them in school and gotten a job outside of the home. The bottom line is I love being my kid's mom and I can't think of a better way of spending their childhood than with them. I love seeing how they're growing and developing. I love seeing their personalities form. I love seeing them thinking things over, developing ideas, exploring, asking questions, creating. Something that has stuck with me all of these years is a story that a woman in her 70s told me many years ago. She was an only child, and when it was time for her to start going to school, um, she didn't want to go. She was very shy, and she really just wanted to stay home with her mom, but her mom kept forcing her to go. And, you know, that's what a lot of parents do, right? Even though the kids might not want to go at first, you still have to push them along to get used to going to school. But the fact that this woman in her 70s is still telling this story about how she first felt when she first started going to school. I could just tell as she was telling the story that it still affected her. How would life have turned out differently for her if her mom had decided to keep her home because she saw how much she didn't want to be in a classroom? Just recently, I read an article about actor Chris Hemsworth, who recently found out through medical testing that he has a high probability of developing Alzheimer's later in life. And he was quoted in the article as saying, it really triggered something in me to want to take time off. And he said, you start talking about kids and family and going, oh my God, they're getting older, they're growing up, and I keep slapping another movie on top of another movie. Before you know it, they're 18, and they've moved out of the house, and I missed the window. The truth is, none of us knows our future. Life is so unpredictable. We don't know what's going to happen. I knew my kids' childhoods would go quickly from the very start, and that was one of the biggest reasons why I chose to stay home. I didn't want to miss any of it. I thought that maybe staying home would slow their, their growing process down and they wouldn't grow up as fast. The reality is I didn't slow it down, but I did get a front row seat to them growing up. I've been through all of it with them. I hate how fast they grow up, but I try to make the most of it. I wanted to homeschool my kids because I wanted them to learn how to learn, not just what to learn. And how do we learn new things? I've said this before, but there are three basic ways that we learn all things. It's either reading, having discussions, or having experiences. And, you know, when I started homeschooling, I started reading all kinds of books by experts and more experienced people about the different philosophies, the way children learn, how we can best parent them. I studied up on all of those things. And then recently, I started interviewing experts. And in one of my latest videos, I got to interview Pat Ferenga, who not only got to work with John Holt, the pioneer of unschooling, but John Holt actually left the growing without schooling company to him. And he got to unschool his own children as well. So he knew what unschooling was. And I had the privilege of getting to listen to all of the wisdom that he had to share about it. And then I've gotten to experience homeschooling my own children, seeing how they work through things, seeing what lights them up, what kinds of questions they have about the world, their reactions to the outside world. And then we homeschool based off of that. 
So because I love learning so much and I know how to go find the information that I need, I really wanted to model that to my children so that when they leave the house, they won't think that learning is just what happens when you are in school. Learning is something that you can do for the rest of your life. And I hope that they will want to keep learning throughout the rest of their lives. I wanted my kids to retain their curiosity through homeschooling. There are so many things that they can ask questions about and be curious about and want to dive deeper into, and we have the time for them to pursue those things. We have all the information and answers to all the questions that we could ever want to ask through the library, the internet, or talking to experts on topics. And why wouldn't we take advantage of that with our kids' education? If the traditional classroom was our only option, then we would just make the best of that. But it's not. There are more resources and opportunities and support groups out there for homeschoolers than there have ever been before. My advice to you is to find a homeschool group and lean in to those supportive homeschooling parents that will help you find answers to your questions, that will share with you all of the awesome resources and opportunities that they take advantage of in your community so that you can have that and live that homeschool lifestyle with you. So there it is. Really, when it boils down to it, I love my children. I enjoy being with them. And this is their one and only chance to be a child. And I just I just want to be a part of it as much as I can. And I 100% believe that it is worth it for anybody that wants to do it. So if you have questions, you will find the answers to them. Uh, if you are starting out and you don't know what the entire journey is going to look like, Guess what? Nobody does. But did you start out being a parent, knowing exactly what you thought it was going to look like until they turned 18? No, but you did it anyway, right? Because you knew it was worth it having those children and you knew that you could figure it out along the way. You knew that you could go find the answers. You knew you could study books. You know you could talk to more experienced parents. You could go out there and see how other people parent their kids. It's the same thing with homeschooling. It's worth it and... Anybody can do it that wants to. And if you're wanting more answers or insight into the unschooling method, then I highly recommend that you go and watch my interview with Pat Ferenga. It was such a privilege to get to interview him, and I loved everything that he shared with us.